Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do this. It's just gonna happen because it needs to happen and I keep putting it off and uh, now's as good a time of any, maybe even the best time, I don't know, is there a best time? Uh, for me to do my final update. <laughs> my belly's feeling hard. <laughs> it's my final update. As it says up there, I forget. What is it? What is it? I don't somewhere the title of the video uh yeah my I don't know if this is these are contractions like when I get when my stomach gets hard you think I should know maybe it's just the way she's laying I never know I don't know what's a contraction when you can't when it's not painful how do you know anyway I need to tell you guys the update my final update um, it's not great. I hope the lighting's okay. I hope you can see me okay. I feel like it's really dark over here. What is on there? Sorry. Um, but yeah, I hope the lighting's okay. Uh, I just uploaded like three videos. Um, it's Sunday night. I don't have to be to work till 11 tomorrow, so I'm staying up a little late. Uh, I made to go to bed around midnight, but I have so many videos that I've been trying to get caught up on. Um, so we'll see what happens there, but because I'm staying up later, Bart's asleep and nothing important is going on, now, like I said, it's a good time to update you guys. So, um, symptoms, um, I guess I'll start with that. Uh, I haven't really had anything super crazy, like I've been feeling pretty fine, I mean my stomach uh, it's getting bigger. I'll oh, try to show you a stomach pig. Or a stomach, I don't know, a stomach shot, uh, after I talk. But my stomach is getting bigger, and I sometimes, like, run into things with my belly because I'm trying to, like, squeeze through spots or, like, go around spots and misjudge the size of my belly. So that's a thing. Um... And she moves around now and then. Oh, it's not hard anymore. So she either moved or the contraction ended. I don't really know. <laughs> it's my first pregnancy, so I don't know what a contraction really is. Uh, unless it's... That's why it's cool in here, because that's... That window's all the way down. Anyway, um... <laughs> I just looked at that. The thing keeping that window partly up. Uh, but anyway... So there's that. Um... Sleeping has gotten a little less comfortable. I can still sleep fine. Like I don't have like a pregnancy pillow or anything pillow or anything um, And I can sleep okay. I could fall asleep. It's not a huge deal I still don't want to like get up from bed because I'm comfy enough, but I can't really stay comfortable on one side for very long and I can sleep kind of okay on my back, but I feel like That's I don't know. I just get like a feeling that that's I mean, maybe it's fine, but I just feel like that's, like, I'm not good for the baby or something. So I don't usually lay on my back for very long. Um, but I don't lay on my side, either side for super long because I just, like, can't stay comfortable. I like to kind of stretch out. And I can't really do that a whole lot. I'll be able to do it a little bit in the morning because, like I said, I don't have to work till 11. But, uh... Uh, when Brett's not in the bed, I can stretch out more, but, um, yeah, so it gets a little uncomfortable, and, like, turning over is kind of, it's, like, kind of uncomfortable, and sometimes painful, and it's starting to get, it when I'm turning over, get painful in my, uh, like, pelvic area, trying to turn over, so that's kind of becoming a thing. It's not, like, scream out or, like, crying painful, it's just kind of like, oh, that's not comfortable, and then I, like, get over to my side or whatever, and I get laying there, and I lay there for, like, 10 seconds, and then I'm okay. Um, so that's kind of that situation. That's probably the worst of it. Uh, that, and as you've noticed, as you've probably seen, and I've talked about it in the last, a little bit in the last couple videos, I've been getting out of breath, like, just even sitting there Friday, I think it was, on my break, yeah, uh, Friday I was sitting just on my break, and like halfway through my break, I just was sitting there and like, I don't think I was even eating anymore, and I was just sitting there not moving, and just like trying to concentrate on breathing, because <laughs> I just, 
couldn't, I felt like I couldn't breathe. But, um, uh, so there's been a couple times where I'm like, have to like, kind of like, concentrate on breathing because I'm like, I'm not gonna like, I don't think I'll pass out, but I'll maybe think of this video of a uh, girl when, that I watched go through a pregnancy and she sat her kid at this point, but uh, she talked about a time back in like 4th of July or something where she uh, about fainted. But that was like with the heat and stuff. But I've just slightly just had a lot of times where I'm just like out of breath, just sitting there. And like while I'm running around doing stuff, I'm fine. But then if I stop, I'm just out of breath. <laughs> so that's definitely a thing, being out of breath. Um, kind of having to go to the bathroom more, but not necessarily that I have to go more unless I allow myself to. Like at work, I don't have to constantly go to the bathroom or whatever. But if I like have the opportunity to, I will. Like if I'm at church or something, then I'll go. Like I went when I got to church, I went before church, I went during the break. Like, before the sermon started, um, today, so, um, there's that, but also, like, it's, I think I might have mentioned it in the last thing, I don't remember the last update, but, uh, it's more, like, what's the word, persistent, I guess, uh, when I do have to go to the bathroom, it, like, hurts <laughs> to, like, my, my, I don't know, pelvic, urinary, bladder area, whatever you call it, uh, just kind of like hurts and gets like tight and I have to like go to the bathroom to like release that. Um, so that's, it's just more, more painful when I have to go to the bathroom, I guess. Um, I think those are really the only symptoms. I don't have any swelling in my feet or anywhere else unless, I mean, maybe like up here, but you know, like maybe like on my face, I don't know. Um, but also I've been like this weekend eating a bunch and stuff, so <laughs> that could be the, the thing too. Um, well that was before the weekend I guess, but anyway. I've been eating less healthy the last week or two, so that could be part of that too. But I don't really have any swelling, my feet don't hurt. Uh, nothing in my body really hurts except for like sometimes my stomach or uh, like not cramping really, but sometimes my stomach. Um, and like my bladder area when I have to go to the bathroom. Um, but I don't have any swelling. Um, as, uh, my aunt, Brett's aunt, uh, put on Facebook, uh, when somebody asked how I was doing, she made, she put this big long comment, um, in reply, because I, I didn't reply right away. So she kind of replied, at least, like, for the meantime until I could reply, and said that I wasn't even waddling or anything. Um, it didn't seem like I was somebody that was, like, going to be having a baby in a few days. <laughs> in less than a week. Um, so, yeah, other people seem to think that I'm doing good. My belly, they say, isn't super big. Um, yeah, I'm just not, it just been fine. <laughs> um, as far as other people know, I could be less far along than I am, but I'm definitely due this week. Um... So yeah, I think that's all the symptoms, I think. Um, I never really had any cravings during this pregnancy. Um, unless you count, like, seeing stuff on Facebook and just wanting it. <laughs> I haven't craved any specific thing. I just crave what I see, if that makes sense. So, um, but we don't have, like, a ton of money, so I haven't been eating everything I see. <laughs> so that helps with not overeating. So that's good. Um, sorry, I'm shaking because I'm trying to itch my, my arm. Okay, so I think I can give you kind of updates as far as doctor appointments go. So this past, right now it's Sunday, this past Thursday was my last appointment, but I'm going to go back to the one before that, which was like two weeks, a week and a half ago. Uh, so not this past Thursday, but the one before that. Um, I went in for my appointment, everything had been going fine up to then, and, and technically everything's still fine. But at that appointment, he measured me, well, my blood pressure was borderline high. I'm not really sure why, but the first time they did it, it was like borderline high when I first got in there, because they always like weigh me, or like they'll weigh you and then uh, do the blood pressure. And I guess it was high, um, borderline high. And then he measured my belly to like see like the, the, uh, According to, the, according to the size of my belly, what I was measuring as week-wise. 
and at that point I was 37 weeks, yeah, 37 weeks and 6 days, and uh, I was measuring like 33 weeks, which until then I had been measuring like pretty close to right on, uh, but I was measuring like 33 weeks at like pretty much 38 weeks, and so he was kind of concerned. Um, they took my blood pressure again, blood pressure, blood pressure again, um, and the second time was better. They had me do an ultrasound because I was measuring small, um, to see how the fluid and stuff, the amniotic fluid was, um, and I was told that it had, that it should be at at least a 10, and it was at at least a 15, so that was a good thing, like, it had to be above, like, 10 or above. And it was at least 16, she said it was like, or at least 15, or it was at least 15, she said it was 15 plus, so it was at least 15. So that was, the fluid was fine, um, and then he came back, or he talked to me afterwards, um, said that the, the fact that she was measuring small was kind of like a pink flag. It wasn't a red flag, it wasn't a terrible thing, but it kind of got their attention, it was kind of a pink flag, something to kind of watch. Um, and that they were going to do a stress test, or well, he said uh, they were going to monitor, which is pretty much a stress test, I found out the next week. Um, they were going to monitor at my next appointment. But he also told me that uh, the fluid was usually on point, like they usually measured correctly this far along, but sometimes the size was off. And uh, I went home from that appointment and like posted something about it and my sister and another person both commented about uh, babies that they had that they were told they would be lucky if their baby was like six pounds and my sister had an eight pound something baby and the other lady had a ten pound something baby um, and like oh also during the ultrasound they were saying it was like in, it was like in the 19th she's in like the 19th percentile uh, measuring like six something six one or something uh, which is fine, a fine size, it's just the fact that it was smaller than she should be at this point in my pregnancy. Um, but anyway, them telling that, me that in the comments said like they were told it was going to be six and it ended up being like a couple pounds more than that was comforting, um, especially since there's two different people that told me that, so that was comforting. Um, fast forward to this past Thursday. I had my appointment, Brett, in, Brett went in with me um, because of what I told him and stuff about like this measuring small and uh, they put me on the monitor thing, um, I had the stress test, that turned out fine, uh, my blood pressure was fine um, and uh, oh they measured me and uh, the last, the one before the, the, the one I was just talking about, she measured 33 or 33 and a half weeks. And this one she was measuring like 35 or 35 and a half, at 39 weeks. So she had gone, the size or the weeks had gone up or the size had gone up or whatever, but it still wasn't like the right, it still didn't match up with the, what the weeks should be. Um, so um, they, had, oh, they had told me, I also forgot to say, at uh, that first appointment that I talked about there, um, like two weeks ago-ish, uh, that they were gonna have, they're going to go ahead and because of her measuring small and stuff, they're going to go ahead and schedule for me to be induced on my due date, which is this Friday. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so anyway, also at this, so back to this, the second appointment, the most recent appointment, um, and they went ahead and scheduled and stuff. Uh, they told me at the most recent appointment that um, they're going to have me come in. Like everything was looking okay. Um, she also checked my cervix and uh, said that I was maybe a little dilated, but she didn't say a number, so probably not enough to like for it to be like even like a centimeter dilated. She just said I was a little dilated, um, and it was a lot better because uh, the guy tried to check me. The guy doctor, the main doctor, tried to check me the week before, and uh, that didn't really wasn't really able to happen and it was a girl this past week this past Thursday and so she was it was a little better she was a little she was able to actually check um but anyway she checked that I was a little dilated um and she told me that they wanted me to come in because um I've been going in on Thursdays and lately it's been every week um 
she wanted me to come in like the morning or early afternoon uh, this coming Thursday, the day before my due date, and uh, have my regular appointment. And then they would decide then um, what they wanted to do as far as inducing me, uh, what specifically they wanted to do because they're, they're going to induce me. Um, and then they would have me go to the hospital that same day, Thursday, like four days. <laughs> Anyway, and uh, they would either do the Pitocin, which would mean me going to the hospital sometime later in the evening, or this other thing they talked about, I don't remember what it was called, that like stretches out your uh, cervix, um, which would have me go in at like 4 in the afternoon, um, which is a little before Brett would get home from work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so right now that's the plan that I have an appointment. I have an appointment at like 10.45 or 10.40 on Thursday in four days. <laughs> and uh, then we'll decide at that appointment what time later in that same day I'm going to go and be admitted to the hospital and stuff. Which is just crazy. I'm going to have a baby this week, guys. In less than a week, I'm going to have a baby. I probably won't have her until Friday, I would imagine early Friday maybe, or depends what time I go in on Thursday, but uh, I would say early Friday, like early Friday morning, or like maybe early afternoon Friday at the latest. So it's exciting and crazy and a little scary because I know it's gonna, labor isn't, isn't uh isn't a walk in the park from what I hear <laughs> but I am getting the epidural um, so there's that and uh, another thing that I'm gonna have to deal with uh, we are gonna have to deal with kind of is uh, we have to decide a little more on the details but I think what uh, we're still dealing with the fleas as I've said in some videos that I've uploaded um, so I I think the plan is for me to not come back here after the hospital until this house has, nobody has found fleas in this house for like two or three days at least. Uh, which means I'll probably be going from the hospital to like my mom's house and staying there for a few days. Which means I'm going to have to pack that much more stuff um, and just like keep it in my car or something because um, I won't be able to come back here. Um, I'll just be going straight from the hospital to uh, my parents' house. <laughs> uh, but Brett is going to try, I think, to get stuff started on Thursday while I'm at the hospital um, before anything crazy goes on. Although I don't know if I want to be there by myself, so <laughs> maybe somebody can come and hang out with me like Erica or something. But I don't know. It's also a crazy weekend because our church is moving into their... Erica is our pastor's wife. Uh... Our church is going to be moving buildings, um, and so next Sunday is our first Sunday in that building, and everything's happening from like Thursday to Sunday, so we're going to be dealing with me having a baby, with fleas, and with our, and everybody at church is going to be dealing with moving into our building, so it's just going to be crazy. Uh, I'll try to keep you updated with all of that junk. But that's, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, so there's that. I'm going to take out these. I didn't really need them in during the video, but uh, I had I was watching stuff. I'm going to try to get up. Here, I'll just do another clip. BRB. Okay, and now a second later it's bright. But I'm going to show you my belly. And you can decide whether you think it looks big for... Well... What, how the size looks for me being four days away from my, well, four days away from induction, pretty much. Five days away from my due date. So there's the uh, mirror. And uh, let's see if I can, there's my belly. I don't know how well you can tell. Is it weird if I do this? <laughs> that might actually be better. There's my, there's my belly. <laughs> my pregnant belly and I actually have I don't know if you can see probably not, it looks weird 
um, that's the front. Uh, but I actually I have stretch marks down here. It's the only place I have stretch marks. But uh, yeah, that's the belly and the update. So the next time I do an update will be with if all goes well <laughs> with Gwen in my arms. So I'll see you in the next video. I should have another video up before then, but it won't be an update video unless I have her unless I have her early could happen. I would actually like for it to happen because it'd be exciting, but, and I wouldn't have to work three days this week. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.